<laughs> All right, so we've got an interesting question because people took a long time on this. Um, also got to prove Liam wrong that algebra is not the way to go here. <laughs> okay, so you have a, it's kind of like a, a magic square, but it's products instead of sums. And you have this other weird condition that every sort of two by two minor thing is also like a two by two square is also products of two. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to suggest two approaches. The first approach I never actually carried out, but I'm kind of, so this is more like the naive approach. You start having like, you label them with variables, right? And then this one will be like one on a B. And I think once you get to here, like D, um, all the other variables are determined, right? Oh, that's a okay. Um, but, and so you only need like at most four variables and then you try to figure out what this number is. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, but one other way, which is kind of, it seems to come up a lot in competitions is like sort of, it's like that's kind of like, you know, the, the school way, right? Like it works for everything, but it might not work the best here. It's about noticing the symmetry. Okay. And so it's kind of crazy because you, you kind of four variables sounds like it's better than eight variables, right? Yeah. But maybe it's not. So you got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, right? Yeah. And what you can do is you can time so try to do something symmetric. So times this together, yeah? Yeah. And then you can times this together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can times this together, yeah? yeah? And then you can times this together, yeah? Yeah. And so that gets you all the variables in it, which is symmetric, which is nice. And so, and, and you know it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, right? Yeah. So 16 equals, and let's call this letter X, yeah? Yeah. So you have four X's. Yeah, and you get um, A, B, so you get all the letters, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, right? And you get, what, like B twice? Yeah. There's another B, yeah? You get D twice. And G and E twice. D twice. G twice. E twice. Yes. Is that it? Yes. Okay. So now let us play a cancelling game. So we know ABC is one, right? Yeah. We know like FGH is one, yeah? Yeah. Okay, we know C E wait wait, what? What happened to my... I feel like I'm missing a little. No, you're not. Okay, we've got BXG as one, yeah? Yeah. And DXE is one, yeah? And DXE is one. Oh, yeah. Oh. I have a point, sir. Very good. Yeah, and, and when you're doing it by yourself, it's actually even quicker, right? Like, you don't have to draw these colors. You just write the letters and it's like one second. Yeah. Okay, but Liam's way is also quite illustrative, okay? Because this is what's called a fake solve. Like, you, fake solve is actually a good thing because it's a fake solve contest, okay? Why is this called a fake solve? Oh, my way. Yeah, because you don't need to prove it, you know? Yeah. So, um, if we erase all that, yeah. Um, so what, what numbers did you get? Um, 2, 0 0.252, 0 0.256, 0 0.252, 0 0.252, 0 0.252. Oh, wait, slow down. So it's 2, a quarter, 2. Yeah. A quarter, 16, a quarter. A quarter, 16, a quarter. Yeah. And 2, 0 0.25, a quarter, 2. <laughs> A quarter? Yeah. No, two a quarter, two. It has to add up times to one, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's also kind of nice. It's symmetric. So, so it's implicit in the question that this is supposed to, no matter, like, it might be multiple solutions, right? But no matter what solution, the middle number should be the same. That's kind of like implicit in the question. Yeah. yeah. Like, obviously, like, if you, if you assume that, you, you're assuming it without proof, right? Which is, uh, which is, which is not allowed in a proof contest. Yeah. But this doesn't need a proof. You just need to pick the right answer out of five answers. And so if, if this satisfies the conditions of the question, it must give you the right answer as well. Does that make sense? So this is called a fake solve. But a fake solve in a fake solve contest is a, is a bonus. Whereas a fake solve in a proof writing contest is not bonus. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it can mean like you did it wrong. <laughs> you can fake serve AMOQ4 and you'll still get full marks.